हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल कंप्लीट द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर पार्ट टेन सॉलिड स्टेट क्लास ट्वेल्थ साइंस केमिस्ट्री लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सॉलिड नाउ वी नो दैट एवरी सब्सटेंस दे पॉजेस सम सब एटोमिक पार्टिकल इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन नाउ द मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सॉलिड कम फ्रॉम द सब एटोमिक पार्टिकल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स since the electron present in the atom orient in different direction in different orbital around the nucleus they create a electrical loop and that loop that electrical loop at its perpendicular direction generate a magnetic field so basically in the atom the electron are the one that create the magnetic property in some solids each electron in an atom behave as a tiny magnet the magnetic moment of this substance originate from its two type of motion now electron in the atom have two type of motion and that result in the creation of the magnetic moment now what are these two type of motion first one is the orbital motion of electron around the nucleus and second one is the spin electron spin around its own axis so due to this motion we get the magnetic moment now electron is a charged particle it's a negatively charged particles and when and we know that when a charged particle undergoes a circular motion they create a circular loop because charged particle is nothing but if it is moving it's nothing but the current so they create a uh, circular loop of electric current and its perpendicular direction we got the magnetic moment so it is being said here electron being a charged particle undergo this motion and can be considered as a small loop of current possessing a magnetic moment okay so here we have learned that the solid that is having magnetic property that arise from its electron motion now we get five type of solid having different range of magnetic moment starting from zero to very high range okay so this five type of solids are paramagnetic diamagnetic ferromagnetic anti ferromagnetic and ferrimagnetic so one by one we'll see the details about it now paramagnetism or paramagnetic substance what is that paramagnetic substances are the one that are weakly attracted on application of the magnetic field if you apply magnetic field then they will show weak attraction not very strongly but weak attraction they will show why it happen it happens due to the presence of unpaired electron in them okay that get attracted by the magnetic field so paramagnetism is due to the presence of unpaired electron now if you apply a magnetic field in uh this substances it magnetize the unpaired electron in the same direction and hence it get attracted if you remove the magnetic field then the magnetism will also be forbidden it will go away some examples are o2 cu2 plus fe3 plus cr3 plus so if you apply north pole south pole to magnet then you'll find that the copper 2 plus will show the attraction weak attraction towards any of the pole then fe3 plus will show the attraction such and such okay so that is all about your paramagnetism so what are the important point paramagnetism substances get weakly attracted why they are they get attracted in the magnetic field because of their unpaired electron when we apply magnetic field their unpaired electrons arrange in the same direction if you remove the magnetic field they lose their magnetism and some example next is diamagnetic substance now diamagnetic substance is opposite to that of paramagnetic in diamagnetic what happen they are weakly repelled okay they get weakly repelled when you apply the magnetic field now why it happen it happen because the electron present in them are all paired okay and 
this paired electron have different magnetic moment that means uh, spins are opposite electron spins are opposite and hence it cancel each other and here you don't get any unpaired electron okay diamagnetic substance they don't have any unpaired electron they are weakly magnetized on application of magnetic field but in opposite direction the uh, ele unpaired electrons sorry the all the electrons are paired so some electron will align along upward and some along the downward or if you are considering right uh, some will be on right and some other will be on the left that means in opposite direction and hence they cancel each other so net magnetic moment is zero and hence they don't get attracted rather they repel now pairing of electron cancel out the magnetic moment and they lose their magnetic character so the, as their orientation is opposite they cancel out examples of water sodium chloride then uh, benzene etc here is a flow chart uh, now we'll talk about ferromagnetic antiferromagnetic and ferrimagnetic now in ferrimagnetic substance you see the electrons in the solid the electrons uh, they create a reason okay and it's not about paired electron or unpaired electron we are not talking here about the single electron but here we'll consider about a reason of electron like this and these are called domains okay so in this three we don't get paired electron and unpaired electron rather we get a domain that means we get a small reason instead of considering single or paired electron now ferromagnetism ferromagnetic substances get strongly attracted towards the magnetic field the term you have to remember strongly attracted paramagnetic and diamagnetic both are weak one was weakly attracted dia was weakly repelled but here strong so they are strongly attracted towards the magnetic field once you apply the magnetic field they become permanently magnetized even after if you remove they will show their magnetism now in solid state the metal ion of ferromagnetic substances are grouped together in the small region and are known as domain and this domain act as a tiny magnet so here is the new term domain domain is a small region that create the magnetic character in an unmagnetized ferromagnetic substance the domains are randomly arranged okay there was no particular arrangement and hence there was no magnetic moment because randomly arranged some of them are cancelling each other but once you place the substance the same substance on the magnetic field then what happened all the domains very obediently they get oriented in the same direction and hence create a very strong magnetic field even if, if you remove this magnetic field they don't leave their orientation they become so obedient that even after removing the magnetic field they remain in the same position and hence they become the permanent magnet so earlier what happened under the unmagnetized field the mag uh, this type of substance the ferromagnetic substance they had the domain but not in a proper way not disciplined but once they come under the discipline after applying the magnetic field they align together they remain in the same position even after the removal of magnetic field and hence become the permanent magnet some good examples are iron cobalt nickel gadolinium and chromium oxide okay these are the ferromagnetic substance that means whatever permanent magnet you are getting this must be made up of this substances iron cobalt nickel etc antiferromagnetic is the opposite from the name itself you can guess that ferromagnetic antiferromagnetic that means antiferromagnetic is something anti opposite to the ferromagnetic substance now here what happened here also you get the same type of domains but here when you apply the magnetic field the domains they get oriented but in opposite uh, manner okay some will be up some will be down like that and hence cancel each other's magnetic moment that means they also become obedient but not proper okay and hence there will be no magnetic moment they, they cancel each other since they are oppositely oriented and hence is a called anti-ferromagnetic they are uh, strongly repelled 
example is manganese oxide ferry magnetism the ferry magnetism is what this is a kind where magnetic moment of the domains in the substance are aligned parallel and anti parallel direction but in unequal numbers okay it's not like that one is up another is down but it is like two is up one is down so parallel also you are getting anti parallel also you are getting but the number is unequal so in this case what happened up and down will get cancelled but one will remain and that one that one domain will give a weak attraction in the magnetic field as compared to the ferromagnetic substance so they are not very strong as ferromagnetic substance but they show some kind of attraction examples are fe3o4 magnetite then ferrites these are the ore of uh, iron mg fe2o4 and zn fe2o4 these substances also lose ferry magnetism on heating and become para magnetic in nature okay so let's get back to the diagram and we kept once again so ferromagnetism in magnetic field all domains are parallel okay they are oriented in the same direction in anti ferromagnetism they are opposite to each other if one is on top another bottom that means they are cancelling each other then this pair opposite they cancel each other like that in ferry magnetism you are getting some domains on top some are at the bottom but the number is not equal okay here you are getting four upward and three downward so one at least will remain there and in paramagnetism here we talk about the this must be for diamagnetism here we talk about the paired electron antiferro and diamagnetism will be something same so that's all for today thank you